change the way I feel about you. I promise I will stay forever. Um, one thing I'm gonna miss about Alice Drive when I leave for college is just the um the welcoming presence I get once I come to the mix and everything. I'm just gonna miss the friendly people. I, I feel at home when I'm here and I really feel like this is where I should be or where I should have been a long time ago. Hi, I'm Hannah and I go to Sumter High School and I've been going to Alice Drive Baptist Church since February of last year and I've never been a church person. I was baptized Catholic and um, my parents never just put me in a church because they didn't want to force that on me. And so I had a friend and he brought me here because I had been talking about wanting to go to a church for a long time and it was it's right next to my house. And so when I came here I was really nervous and I was a junior in the freshman class life group. And for they didn't really think that that was going to be okay, the people in my life group, because I was so much older than everybody else, and the person that brought me was a freshman. And it ended up being a really good experience for me. I ended up getting to know the people in there, and Mr. Tommy, who played a huge role in my life and growing spiritually. And um, they allowed me to stay, and um, Alice Drive is just very welcoming and super supportive of whoever you are, whatever background you come from. And it was January this, um, this year, a couple days after my 18th birthday, that I got baptized Baptist. And it was a very huge changing point in my life. And finding community here is the greatest thing about being part of this church. We go together. Alice Drive Student Ministries means the world to me. I came here three years ago and what all I have to say to sum it up is all progress helps you grow when you're out of your comfort zone. You can't, you can't grow in something that you're comfortable with and that's one thing I learned from here. And one, another thing that I've learned here is that even when life puts you down, you still have friends that will pick you right back up. I love you guys. Just keep loving God and just always be hyped. What I loved most about Alice Drive is how welcoming it was. When I first came here in January 2017, it was just like I've been here forever. It was like a family. Um, they, they welcomed me with open arms. And it was, I stood there alone and immediately somebody came up to me and introduced themselves. And that was, it felt like I've been here forever, and I haven't felt like that since I had my church in Tennessee. And I loved it here so much. Just from that moment on, I told my parents, this is our church. This is the church that we're gonna stay at. And they were like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, this is the church we're staying at. And they're like, okay. Um, and since that day, I wanted to be a part of leadership and I wanted to just stay a part of this church and now that I'm leaving it's just tearing a hole in my heart that I have to leave and what I just I can't <laughs> even have words for what this leadership what this youth means to me Yeah. Okay, alright, I'll give you some water. I'm not crying. Oh, I'm laughing. Right. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Peace.
most about this church is just the people. Um, the people here have treated me like family. As soon as I walked through the door, uh, I was a brother and not just a face that stood out in a crowd and watched a sermon, you know, week to week. Uh, when I first walked in, I was, I was a member of the Alstride family and that was the most comforting thing to me because, I mean, I've had other churches that have, you know, They've taken me and made me feel like less of who I was, and they made me feel like just another number. And here, even though despite being a large church, it's still a family despite the large numbers. And just, I, I love the family aspect, how everything's family oriented, and I greatly appreciate that. And um, I'm gonna miss just everything, being leading worship on a Wednesday night um, and having fun cutting up with the rest of the youth and all that. I'm really gonna miss that. But also I know that um, they have a good system set up here with student leadership to where they um, were building people coming up and they're gonna take my shoes as, when I leave. So, um, yeah. Hey guys, I'm Megan. I'm from, I'm a senior at Sumter High. I've been probably going here for, since December. I started coming here because my old church family was very, they put you down a lot and they, they just wanted you to do what they wanted and they didn't want really what God wanted for you. They just wanted you to fit into their mold that they had. So Anna Kelly actually brought me and so ever since I started coming here, I just felt comforted and I had the opportunity to just breathe again and not have to worry about well, what am I doing in the kids ministry and what am I doing in everything else because I just had a time with me and God where I could have community and have good laughs and just not be stressed out about it. So. I would advise you to come because it's really awesome. So, yeah. Hey guys, so uh, my name is Ryan Worth. I'm a senior at Crestwood High School. And I've been coming to Alice Drive for a good six, seven years now. And uh, just like a family, Alice Drive has uh, grown tremendously since I've gotten here. And they've showed me what it means to be part of something bigger than myself. Uh, they've showed me what it means to have people who aren't directly related to you, be there for you constantly, be there by your side through pretty much everything. And they've just really taken me in and made me feel like I have a home here. Whenever I don't feel good at home or whenever things aren't going my way at school, uh, I know I can always come here and always have this community here for me. Um, and it's just been an extremely big part of my life, a big help uh, all throughout high school. And I know that Everybody who comes here is able to fit in and just uh, feel like they have a home, somewhere to belong. We go together, it's all I know, side by side. Before I came to Alice Drive, I didn't know what a community of, of Christians was like, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't believe that a Christian would actually live out the principles that, um, that I saw in the Bible. Like, I, I believed that the, the real world was just the way people would act and then Christians were that, but you know, when I came here, there were people that uh, inspired me to, to do it the right way. And um, one one thought that kind of scares me is that people don't have this um, this kind of community to be around. And I don't know what I would be doing if I didn't have a bunch of like-minded Christians uh, to do life with. Uh, I would be very, very lost. I'm not good at introductions, so I'm just going to start talking. Um, uh, this church, Alice Drive, has been a, collectively an incredibly, incredibly significant part of the last couple years of my life. I have met so many great people here. I have made so many great friends. I have so many great leaders in my life um, now who have I've met through Alice Drive who have helped me um, to grow, not just um, to 
try to do better or do more, but also I have learned how to um, help other people grow as well. I have people in my life now, I've got Adele and Matt and Alan and Londa, who don't, they're all leaders here who have helped me um, to grow, but have also been willing to step in and let me know when I've you know, messed up so that I can fix problems and learn from my mistakes. One of the most important things that I have learned here, one of the most important lessons I've learned is to, uh, to put God first in everything, uh, especially since I've become involved in a lot here with student leadership, um, life groups, apprenticing, um, just here, but also, you know, in the rest of my life, there's so many things that happen. And it's really important to remember to be putting God first in every situation and to seek God first in every situation. And then everything else just falls into place behind that and becomes a lot simpler and a lot more bearable, so to speak. My name is Drew. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, just Alice Drive and the family that's here. Uh, it's definitely going to be a it's going to be a grind, but one thing that I uh, uh, strive to do is just to push through, and um, it's been a great time here. Uh, definitely, definitely get on student leadership or serve in any capacity that you can at this church because. It has not only helped me, but it has helped everyone else. And uh, Dell, Matt, Londa, just thank you for everything that you've done. Uh, and just uh, this time here has been really great. So I have a lot to say about Alice Drive as a church. Um, the last four years here, I've made a lot of really good relationships, especially with the adults. And the the best part about Alice Drive is it. Your walk with Christ, it's not just straight up. It goes up and down and backwards and all around. And most churches, once you go down or back, they'll completely turn away from you. And what's great about Alice Drive is that they'll stick with you through all of it. And all those relationships will really grow. And so one thing I really miss is the connections that you can make so easily. But what's great is that I know that they're not over and that they'll carry through with the rest of my life. So one thing that you need to make sure you do at Alice Drive is that you make those connections and you need to step out in faith and just talk to them. If you had a rough week and the message really hit you, just go to the next step room and talk about it. Um, that's the greatest thing you can do with joining student leadership that really helped me um, make great relationships with Londa Stanley and Delmar Pete also. It just, it helps connect you so much. And then getting into a Bible study, it grows you with your other students. Um, Woodley Kate James, I was in a Bible study with her my high school career and eventually I learned how to teach and now I have my own study and you can grow so much through Alice Drive and they just want the best for you but you have to have that faith and step out and so if you're a student here and you haven't made any connections yet I just encourage you to go for it. The connections they will come to you but you have to be okay with it and you need to receive it and you also need to step out and make those connections back. So that's the one thing with Alice Drive is I miss y'all a lot, but I'm still going to be around. Love y'all. Um, my name is Willie Kate James. As a senior, one thing I'd want everyone to know um, just about Alice Drive is that not only will they push you here to be more of a mature Christian um, and honestly just a a uh, better servant, but that they're going to push you to run the race as far as you can and to all the students out there know that um, that race is going to burn and you're going to feel tired and exhausted, but um, but that's going to be one of the greatest races that you'll, ra that you'll have right now, um, as, especially as in high school. Um, know that this is a family and that these people have your back no matter what and really just enjoy that um, no matter where everyone goes that you guys will always at the end of the day be alumni here and Alice Drive folks. To all the other seniors, um, know that you guys impacted my life just because you were always someone that I could turn to and know that I was running the race with, which um, was probably one of the best memories that I have is looking over at the mix and seeing one of us worshiping, one of us putting out tears, and um, 
the other one trying to solve a crisis or whatever was going on that night. Um, so yeah, just to Delmar, uh, Matt, and Londa, thank you guys for how much you've pushed me. And um, I can't wait until I get to come back and see what y'all do with the ministry uh, when I'm long gone and how you use the other gifts that students have. So one of the things about Alice Drive is when I first came, they, they greeted me with open arms and it was just one of the best experiences I've ever been through. Along with when I came here, you know, and I saw all these students being taken these leadership positions and I got really influenced by that. So then I went on the Miami mission trip and then I went to like Tennessee and that was an awesome experience to see how a church can come and help others without even darting an eye. I just, I love that type of environment and how we can come together and worship God in this kind of sense to know that He is our Creator. And one of the huge things I'm going to miss is mainly the student pastor, Delmar. He's been an awesome influence to me. And Miss Londa, she's been there with me through thick and thin, along with Matt. He's, he's cool too. <laughs> and, but uh, I'm, I'm really just going to miss the kind of cool environment where when you come to church on Wednesday and go to the mix, it's not like just going to church. It's like coming home to all your family and friends at one time. And I just, I love that environment, especially since I'll be going to the Citadel, there's going to be a lot of yelling and taking orders, so it's going to be a little nice if I get to come back and visit to the nice quiet environment. But uh, honestly, I just, I hope to see many students taking their next step towards Christ and filling in our senior shoes as we leave, taking on those leadership positions, and I just hope that Alice Drive continues to strive forward. Hi guys, I'm Bailey, I'm a senior at Sumter High School, and I've been coming to the mix since... May I think of last year and since coming here I have been able to find myself in God and in this amazing community that Alice Drive builds for you. Um, my, my best friend brought me here. God used him to bring me here and if it hadn't been for that I wouldn't have been saved at the multi-sensory mix. I wouldn't have gotten baptized over spring break. I wouldn't be the person that I am today if God hadn't have brought me here. And just knowing that I have this family here, even when I leave, that is the biggest comfort that I could ever ask for. And I just hope that all of you understand that no matter what happens in life, no matter where you go, no matter who comes into your life or who leaves, that Alice Drive will always be here for you. And that's such an amazing thing. Hey y'all, my name is Sherry. Um, I've been coming to Alice Drive since July of 2017. Um, I had a friend of mine named Cameron and he posted on his Facebook his story and I had been having a lot of troubles at the church I used to go to and uh, I said well I think I'll try out Alice Drive and then a little bit later I found out my friend Hannah came to Alice Drive and she brought me to my first coffee shop. And then I started coming to the mix more. And then in September of 2017, I got saved. And um, the mix has been here. Del Mar and Matt have definitely been here for me. And I would encourage everybody to try it out because even though a lot of people think, oh, Alice Drive's a big church, there's not a community. You just don't understand. This is the, one of the best communities and best programs in Sumter for the youth. And I thank God every day for Alice Drive and for my awesome pastors here at Alice Drive and all the friends I've made. So I would strongly encourage you, come out, try Alice Drive out. You'll love it. Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Skylar. Um, I've been going to Alice Drive for about a year now. I'm a senior. Well, I graduate June 7th and then I'm off to bigger and not necessarily better than being here things on the 11th. So that's kind of a big change and I know a lot of you are about to go into a big change whether it's going into high school or going into your senior year like there's always about like anxiety when it comes to change and the thing about that is whenever you you put that on God when you would cast your anxiety onto God it goes by so much more smooth and it's just so much more easy and I know for some of us high school is amazing and we love it and we have all of the best friends and teachers and classes, now that's, that's great. If you love high school, if you're loving life, good. Like keep on, just appreciate it. But for others of us, high school isn't always the best. And sometimes high school 
sucks. It just sucks. And we can't control that. And But one thing we can do that I've learned um, is very helpful is getting yourself in a community of other Christ followers. And so when I came here to Alice Drive, I wasn't necessarily in the best place mentally or emotionally. And then once I got myself involved here in life groups and student ministry um, in impact and elements, I just started to grow spiritually and I definitely changed, but it wasn't a scary change, like going into high school maybe. So I just want to encourage all of you, if you're not already, you know, get in a life group, get in student ministry, just find something, find somewhere where you belong. Alice Drive has been a place for me to kind of figure out who I am and find my family. Uh, they help me grow, find myself, find my talents, and take my next step in sharing my story and opening up. And I mean, this place has been so like welcoming with just open arms and like no matter who you are or where you've been, like they love you and they'll accept you. And like this is a place of grace and this is the only thing you can really ask for in a church is just feeling accepted and feeling at home. I'm Zach Shields, I'm a senior at Central High School. I started coming to the mix about three months ago and in just a short amount of time, this church has done a lot for me. It has prepared me for college and it showed me some stuff I can take with me. One of the biggest things that I've gotten out of coming to the mix is community. You need to have someone with you beside you at all times because you can't do life alone. And as long as you have that community, you, you can do anything in life. You can take it as far as you want to and nothing can stop you as long as you have that community with you by your side. I've been at this church for about two years. Uh, it helped me take my next step into getting baptized last year. And it's just a place where I can like call them my family, you know, and they've always been there, especially like when the moments I cry and I have good memories and stuff. It's just a great place to be here. And I'm kind of sad that I'm gonna be moving soon and whatnot. So I'll definitely miss my church. We go together